Welcome back, everyone. This is update for week 0.79. I have a few things, a few interesting new features based on community feedback. So here we go. Let's look at the first one. So let's load a stage. Uh, let's say, let me load this stage up. All right. And so tra uh, before this, I made the update where you can actually go to the camera and look at the toggle top down 2D view if you like. And so somebody suggested, actually Dane suggested that I include this as part of the written stage briefing. So if you go over to written stage briefing now, you have the ability to print the layout page as well. So if you select this and you export the file, and let's say I just drop it here. And now if I open that file, you will see that you will see that you have your normal page one and then you scroll down you have page two which is your written stage briefing and then page three which is the build list which is also optional and the new page is the layout page so you can actually use this to for your team to construct the stage if you want or even to show the um, competitors how that looks like from a top down view so this is now generated automatically for you through the option that you select here in the stage briefing Next one is um, Derek from Macau. Was it Hong Kong, Macau? He reached out and said, hey, can you implement or can you model two of the interesting things that he built from scratch, which is ele uh, essentially electronic swingers and electronic bobbers. So in an airsoft world, uh, because you don't really use actual guns, so you can actually use electronic triggers to trigger certain props. And so now if you go to the ISMOC section, you see now we have a bunch of uh, swingers and bobbers. So you have the left swinger, you have the right swinger, and you have a bobber like this. So let's say if you wire them up, and if you put, uh, typically what you'll do is you just put uh, no shoes in front of it. So let's do that. Let's put up here, bring it down by pressing G, clone this over here, clone that over here. And so now if you go to simulation mode and if you fire, you see that now they have the swingers that pop out and you have the bobbles that pop up. Yeah, so those are the things that he wanted and I made it for him. Hope he likes it. And the last bit I think which is pretty cool is the support for laser dry fire simulators. You know those simulators where you buy a projector, you buy a PC, you have a webcam looking at the, whatever you project on the wall. And then you have a small laser module that you put in your actual gun that you carry or compete with. And then what happens every time you dry fire it, it basically shoots a laser onto the wall and the camera will see where the hit is and you'll register the hit like you play games with it, right? So I'm, I'm sure you've seen some of those. Um, and somebody from one of those companies reached out and said, hey, can you make your um, dry fire mode spot that? And it's essentially a, a mouse click. So right now, uh, if you have, like, if you set waypoints here and you go over to the dry fire simulator by hitting F9, and if you hit enter, it will go through the different waypoints. And then while you're going through the waypoints, you can actually shoot, uh, use your mouse click. But if you have a laser fire simulator, it simulates a mouse click anyway, and then you will reg register hit. So let's take a look. Are you ready? Stand by. So like this, imagine if I fire, right? If I shoot this, it actually basically works. And then you can even register hits and you'll tell you where you hit. Like that as well. If you're finished, unload and show. So yeah, so that's that's pretty cool, I think. So now for those of you who have this $1,000 setups with the uh, laser modules in your gun, you can actually dry fire, build your own stages using Practice Sim Designer and then practice. So I think that's pretty cool, right? Give me some feedback. Again, I uh, hope you like the updates for 0 0.79 here. If you want to give me feedback, just hit escape, go over to the settings here and click this button to provide feedback. Or if you prefer, uh, you can go to our Discord channel. The link to the Discord channel is in the YouTube description below and then come and engage with us. I hope you like this update. Have a great weekend and see you on the range.